Okay, here I am tabbing out a Derek truck solo for next week's video when I hear this ultra fast lick before the video fades in. Further into the song, he uses that same lick again here. At first it stumped me. I know I've heard that lick before, but where? Hmm. Yes, that is it. It's the ultra fast lick from John Mayer's version of Ain't No Sunshine. He adds that one extra note into the minor pentatonic scale, the same one that Derek does to achieve speeds that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Let's grab our guitars and really figure out what they're doing. In the key of A minor, here are all the notes of the minor pentatonic scale as we usually play it with their corresponding numbers. One or root, minor third, fourth, fifth, seven, back to one or root note here. So one, minor third, fourth, fifth, seven, one, and minor third. All right, let's zoom in and focus on this part of the scale. As we walk up the scale, starting on the one here, the root note, we get root note, minor third, fourth, fifth, and seventh. Another place to play this fifth here, is right here on the G string, up on the ninth fret. And this is where the extra note, the blue note, or flat five, fourth, fifth, flat five, right here. That's the eighth fret on the G string. This is that extra sauce note that these guys are adding to their scale that gives the illusion of speed. But it's not just adding the note into the scale, it's how you use it. It's not the size, mate, it's how you use it. To get that slippery sound that Mayer and Trucks are both getting with this lick, we want to either use the flat five as a passing note between the five and the four. So a little chromatic run working down the scale like this. Or we want to bounce off that flat five from the four using either a hammer on pull off technique or a slide like this. Not too difficult, right? But wait, there's more. That's not the only spot in this shape that we can play that lick. It's a two for one sale. Check this one out. Way down here at the very beginning of the scale, we have the familiar root, minor third, fourth, and fifth. If we move that minor third that we usually play on the E string up to the A string third fret, and then continue up this shape, we get this. Root, minor third, fourth, and fifth. And it's in this box, sandwiched as always between the fourth and the fifth, we find our next opportunity to play that flat five. And it's right here where we find that flat five again on the sixth fret A string. But wait, there's more again. There's one more opportunity to play this flat five if we extend the pentatonic scale just a little bit further up the neck. Let's focus in on the B and E string and find that next flat five. So walking up from the fifth fret B string, we get fifth, seventh, root, minor third, fourth, and fifth. So right here between the fourth and the fifth is the last flat five we are going to look at today. Now that we have three different spots on the neck that we can play this lick, let's chain them all together in one big descending lick so you can get a bird's eye view of the whole shape. Okay, we got our road map. You know where all those flat fives are now. Now let's do what every guitar player does when they learn a new lick and abuse the living shit out of it. Let's have some fun.
Okay, that is definitely enough noodling for one day. So I wanna hear from you guys. Is this a new thing for you or are you already using this little flat five trick in your own plane? Do you have any other little hacks to get around the pentatonic scale in your regular soloing? Let us know in the comments down below so we can all learn from you. That's all I've got this week. Until next time.